Hey everyone, welcome back to Brick House Vintage. My name is Ethan, and today we're gonna to be doing a makeover on this vintage 1920s dresser. Uh, if you saw a few weeks ago, we had done a matching piece, pretty similar to this, only this piece did have a mirror on top. Now, we debated whether or not to include the mirror uh, because it was in really rough shape. Uh, we ended up opting to not include it just because it was kind of beyond repair. Um, so you'll see a little bit of difference in fixing up some of the holes uh, where the mirror was. Uh, but other than that, it was pretty much the exact same process. So if you kind of want a more step-by-step -step or questions on you know, what I'm doing, um, I will link that video above and you can check that out because the process is pretty much the same. So with that, if you want to see how this turns out, make sure you stick around.
So here, as you can see, this is Heather's hand. Uh, she went ahead and put a second coat on this piece.
Now one big difference here between uh, the previous video we did and this one is this wax. We are out of our normal Miss Mustard Seeds Furniture Wax. So we had picked this up at Lowe's. This is that Krylon uh, chalk finish wax. Um, personally, we didn't like it. Uh, it didn't apply well. It didn't buff well. It was more of like a soapy texture to it. Um, so it just, it wasn't easily workable. Uh, we did end up going back over with a different wax that we had found uh, in our stash and kind of finished the piece off with that then. It gave it a much nicer feel, but I would personally not recommend this Krylon wax. Um, now that being said, it may work a little bit better with the Krylon chalk paint. I don't know, but for a general application, we didn't like it. And just as a reminder, here's what the piece looked like before. And here's what it looks like now. thanks for watching everybody hopefully you enjoyed this quick flip video and if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave because we'd love for you to stick around we'll see you next time guys